Hello, everyone. Uh, and it's, it's my great pleasure to be here today and to share a few words uh, on a new flagship offering, which we are unveiling uh, at MESA. It's our EV platform, which allows uh, our customers to get to GMP uh, within eight months. Uh, kind of a helicopter view of Charles River. We are uh, an established company, so we were founded in 1947, um, and we currently operate in 20 plus countries uh, and have 110 plus facilities. A piece of stat that we're very proud of is that, that we, we supported the development of 86% of the novel FDA-approved drugs in 2021. We have six divisions uh, in Charles River and contracts and development manufacturing and testing are the integral part of our biologics solutions. So as a bit of a, a recap to some of the major challenges and I might be preaching to the choir here. Uh, we know that we have a long way to go in terms of uh, probably where the mammalian and the traditional biologics uh, is today. We still have uh, quite long and costly traditional development timelines. We also know that since the majority of cell engine therapy companies are small to medium biotech, they tend to go from one round of financing to another. So, and there is a, a pressure to show the data sooner rather than later in order to be able to get some funding. We also know that extra process development activities uh, lead to increased costs and impacting timelines. We also know that uh, when you go for manufacturing and if the yield doesn't look great, uh, that leads to additional costs because then you know that you need to manufacture another GMP batch or you need to optimize a process before going to GMP again. Lot to lot consistency is a huge issue. And, uh, and can lead to major challenges during from a regulatory and quality point of view. Because plasmids is uh, a starting material of critical reagents, uh, if uh, there are, it creates a bottlenecks uh, for AV manufacturing, because if there are some challenges on, on the plasmid side, it would have a domino effect uh, on everything else. we're still facing capacity and slot shortages. And this is becoming an increasing issue as the pipeline becomes more mature and uh, therapy is getting closer to commercialization. We also know that there are raw material shortages. Uh, and, and sometimes what happens is uh, drug developers go to a CDMO and, and they might get a slot, but then they get a message that, yeah, but you might need to wait for six months before we get materials, which doesn't help. What is also critical here is manufacturing a GMP batch per se doesn't necessarily mean that you, you're able to release it and use for clinic. So, and it's not uncommon when you manufacture it and then your analytics uh, is on uh, and then you're stuck with and, and facing some delays uh, to, uh, to release a batch and can't use it for clinic. So overall, industry needs an expedited, uh, cost-effective and predictable path to GMP and clinic. So in Charles River, we took those pain points and uh, there was almost a a eureka moment uh, when we realized that we had the ingredients internally uh, to find a solution 
to those issues. Let me tell you a story uh, about an invention which pretty much re revolutionized uh, the travel agency. So this is an illustration of a, a wheeled luggage, a trolley uh, from a US patent in 1972. An inventor had a very simple idea. You take a box and you put a box on wheels and box and wheels have existed for centuries. And even though the concept was quite simple, it, it had a massive impact on millions and millions of people. In a similar vein, we realized that in Charles River, we had all those ingredients available. We knew we were good on, on, on plasma DNA. We've been doing it for decades. We've manufactured hundreds of batches on the EV side. We are a world leader on testing. And as a large company, where we have established uh, global partnerships with procurement and, and vendors. So taking these four pieces together, we created three pillars of our, of our navigation platform. And we integrated them under one roof. Pillar one, in-house plasma DNA production. Pillar two, viral vector production. Pillar three, 100% of analytics is done in-house. And, uh, and thanks to a standardized process, we have a simplified and secure supply chain. And thanks to these three pillars, we were able to cut 18 months to below eight months. In the upcoming slides, I will give a, a bit more meat on the bone on these three pillars. So going back to pillar one, plasma DNA. As mentioned, since it's a starting material, it's really important to, uh, to have it in place. Uh, before the manufacturing can go any further. And it's also very important to plan, to plan in advance. Uh, we, we've been manufacturing plasma DNA for close to two decades. And in fact, there is a, a grand opening of our new site next week. Uh, so we have two sites in UK, uh, both for the research grades, HQ, and GMP grades. And a, lot of, and a lot of capacity is coming online since uh, starting from next week. If we look at second pillar, here we focused on standardizing AEV production. And, it, and, and a big part of it was also on a, introducing a templated approach. For us here as well, a starting point was important. And in a cell line, having a high yield uh, cell line is a critical differentiator. So we spent a, a significant amount of effort to, to optimize our cell line uh, and we were able to increase and boost a bit the productivity 20 fold and beyond across serotypes. Relying on a triple transfection process, we also optimized molecular biology of the packaging plasmids, also allowing us to boost titers. And last but not least, we also focused on cell culture media and uh, with and the same purpose in mind to boost titers hence increasing the yield. A templated documentation was another integral piece because we know that uh, uh, 
if you, if you don't have, let's say, once you have a standardized process, then you're also able to template and standardize uh, documentation, including but not limited to a sampling plan, a master batch record, and a product specification, allowing for timely release. Now going to the third integral pillar of the navigation platform is in-house testing. And uh, so it's the testing powers of CRL, meeting a standardized process, meeting a simplified and secured supply chain. And let me elaborate on what do I mean by that. We have been performing testing for over three decades, and uh, we created, it has been part of Charles River's strategy to, to rely on our global network of testing facilities to, to power our contract and development manufacturing and, and sites with 100% of analytics performed internally. So sometimes you end up with as I mentioned is in the beginning of my speech, so you have a GMP batch manufactured, but then, but then you're stuck because then you rely on sometimes two, three, four, four other uh, suppliers, and, uh, and that doesn't benefit your customer and it doesn't benefit the patients. What we've also done, by standardizing the process and leveraging on Charles River global supply chain. So standardized platform allowed us to standardize the bill of materials, and by standardizing a bill of materials, we were able to procure material well in advance. Uh, uh, and obviously leveraging uh, our negotiation power as a global company and existing relationship with global vendors. That means that when customers come to us, the material is already available on day zero and it doesn't lead to any further bottlenecks. So to sum up the key benefits of the platform, so when we looked at the three pillars, speed was very critical for us. And, uh, and we're, able to do, we're able to expedite development, uh, and, and thanks to, among other things, 100% in-house analytics. Uh, track record is another important element here because we know that speed is not everything. It's not good enough just to get from point A to point B, you, know, you need to be able to get to point B uh, in the right manner, yeah? So if you have poor, poor quality of GMP batch, just because you got something manufactured doesn't necessarily mean that uh, it's a success story, yeah? So track record is, uh, is a critical differentiator in this industry. Last but not least, by putting those three pillars together, it allows our customers to have much better predictability because no one likes surprises, especially nasty ones. And with this, I would like to thank you for your time and also mention that we have a happy hour later today between 5 to 8 p.m. at Post Command and so and you're welcome to join us, especially if you want to hear to the presentation again and have more discussion in, in this regard. And thank you for your time. <laughs>